Here she comes. I don't know how this is going to go. I got you on video. What did you do? Come on over here. I want I want to capture re your reaction. I see your face right now is one of uncertainty. I know most of her facial expressions. Maggie? Maggie? Maggie, don't even look until you get over here. That's really big. It <laughs> sounds... It looks really big. I just saw that move. You saw the trailer move, huh? Yes. Maggie, move, baby. All right, hold on. I want to get your eyes as you make contact. Step on over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, folks. Lester here. I just got to work. I sat down at the desk. You know, we're doing training this week. And, uh... And uh, I get a text from Sister Kim. You know, she uh, has helped us out with all of our emails. And she goes, check the email now. I, I kind of roll my eyes. So sometimes it's nonsense. Sometimes it's just, it's you know, a lot of whatever. Anyway, I check my email while I'm sitting there. And lo and behold, there's a rescue opportunity. Now, when I say opportunity, this is not your normal, your average rescue. I'm not going to give anything away yet. I want to surprise you. But I will say this. There's a love triangle happening on this guy's farm. He's found himself with two males and only one female. And man, there have been some epic battles going down. And he says that, uh, Lester, I, gotta, I, I can't can't i gotta move one of these males and so i'm excited about this i've left work i've taken a couple of hours of comp time isn't this crazy my first week back to school and i'm already using comp time <laughs> anyway it happens i told my boss i have to go she understands why and so i'm running to willis willis is about an hour away from the house i'm gonna grab the trailer i'm at the house now I'm gonna grab the trailer, run up to Willis, pick up this surprise, surprise, and uh, get it back home. I want y'all to look how pretty this country is out here. I'm uh, only about 12 minutes away from the place I'm going. But uh, man, it's really opened up, and this is just some beautiful country. You got pastures on each side of the road and just beautiful fences. This reminds me a whole lot of what Plum Grove used to look like. All right, so I've gotten off the main road and now I've lost my GPS signal, which that happens out in the country. Wow, look at that. Would you look at that? All right, doggone hay. That's a cute little company name. All right. In half a mile, the destination is on your left. Guys, look. There he comes. And he's driving a side-by-side -side down his driveway. Man, this is the life here, y'all. This is the life. So, have I told y'all how beautiful this country is? It's crazy to me to realize that there's still places like this within an hour of the house. Wow, would you look at that. They got a pool, they got dogs. Wow, we, hey, these folks are set up guys there. They got a nice setup here. Oh boy. I've learned that all males are black and all females are brown. So that's pretty neat. Had no idea, had no idea. Now, Carl over here, and that's his name. They call him Carlito, which <laughs> is little Carl, okay? That's funny. He's the more aggressive of the two males. And so these two, since she is now three years old and of that age, these two have been fighting, so they have to keep them separated. And now they're trying to even fight through the fence. 
So that reminds me of a Tex Billy situation. And uh, you can see they've been plucking at each other pretty good. Just Yeah, they act, you can see they've been plucking at each other. It's kind of like turkeys. We know about turkeys. Look at the tail end right there. Little Carl has been actually plucking feathers out of the back of him. And that's sad. Well, don't think that little Carl hasn't taken a beating because you can see he's been beaten pretty well too. He's all beat up there. And so they don't really have another place to move well, they don't really have a need for two males. So that's what we're here for. Now, now there's a second problem. Let me show you what our dilemma is, okay? Okay, so our dilemma here is the fact that we're afraid he's going to jump out of the trailer. You know, he's gonna, he stands over eight feet tall. And so we don't have a worry him getting him into the trailer. They say he'll, he, he moves pretty well but we'll push them into the front section over here, which is fine. But here's the problem. When we close this gate over here, which keeps him in the front, what's gonna happen is he's gonna see that daylight right there. He's gonna see that daylight and he's gonna try to jump himself out of here. And we don't want that to happen as we're trying to transport him home. All right, so we're going to cut this uh, piece of uh, cattle panel here. This is actually not cattle panel, this is a kind of other panel we're going to cut it and try to rig up a system to get that to stay i know what you're saying you're saying lester what are you doing that's an ostrich lester wake up step out of it son i am just fascinated guys i really i'm just fascinated by these animals by these creatures and i'm wondering is this going to be one of our bigs or one of our littles seriously is this going to be a big or a little all right so what we've tried to do here is rig something up but uh like i told him i said it's important that we do it safely i don't want to transport this little guy home if he's going to end up getting himself hurt so we've kind of rigged this up where we're going to close the gate once we get him in and then push that down where he won't have any reason to want to jump out look at this these are the ostrich eggs that's crazy and so you have an incubator how long does it take before they hatch like quantos days. days how many 42 days. 42 days and so this here rotates them yeah this is the moment of truth do i turn and run or do i go through with this it's an ostrich this is an ostrich i can't believe this is happening this is very interesting i am a nervous wreck though i'll be honest i am a nervous wreck not about this part i think that will be fine getting him home but uh i think we're good more i th i, th I think we're good uh I am just um, nervous about getting close to him. And I know what you're all thinking. You're wondering, why would I even be doing this? I just now asked Edward, I said, are you scared? And he said, no. And I says, why am I so scared? And he says, if you raise them, you're not scared of them. And I guess that's the same way it is with Tex. I know a lot of people are, don't want to get inside the pasture with Tex because you've seen what he has done with the other, some of the other animals. But it's true, I have no fear of getting there with Tex whatsoever, I have no fear. And it's just because I've raised them, so I kinda know them. Now the problem is I have not raised these guys. So that's why I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just terrified. So what you have right there is like a big handmade cane, sort of. It's like a Mary had a little lamb type uh, thing.
are you getting yourself into? Oh. Alright, let's go. That, that is one brave man right there. And uh, this over here is one very feisty little guy. <laughs> oh my God, what are we getting ourselves into? Look at those feet. These long legs and the feet. This over here is where he and the other male have been pulling each other's feathers out. And that's something that we've seen a lot with our turkeys. And so... Here we go. Carlito. I hope not, but I hope I never have to do what you did just now. Because <laughs> if, even though you were in there like a champ, I, I, I'm afraid I would be terrified. But he's beautiful, and uh, we're going to take really good care of him. And you're going to have to watch the videos and see, see how he does. Have y'all ever wanted to do something? And you thought about it, you prayed about it, and every instinct tells you don't do it. And then you do it anyway. Yeah, that's me. That's me. All right, so we're saying our final goodbyes here, and I overheard you say something. What'd you scream again as I drove out? Bye, Carl. You're gonna be a movie star. <laughs> Bye, Carl. You're going to be a big movie star. We're going to go make some videos of Carl when we get home. All right, he's ready for his ride. All right, my man. Oh, we're blocking traffic. Take care. What have I just got myself into? <laughs> There's a great story here. Jamie has no idea. She's out of town. So, you know what? I'm just going to blame this on my lack of medication. There you go. Don't blame Lester, Jamie. He's just not feeling himself. All right, so we're here with shirtless Jake. Uh, and However, Jake, Jake's wearing his shirt. I hey, said, Jake, I my day job pull your here. shirt off. He goes, I can't. I'm at work. And I, anyway, Jake has already put his hands in there and he's l rubbing on them. How does he feel? He feels like a, a it's really hard to explain. It's like right. feathers, but it's like a softer. It's, it's softer. oh, it's very soft. It's, it's not like chickens at all. And his neck feels like a. Oh, he's taller than all of us, and we're going to have to overcome our fears. Go ahead, put your hand in there and give him a little love. His feathers are very soft. Come on, y'all, y'all. This is, it. hold on, introduce yourself. This is Jake's co-worker. I've seen you in a lot of videos. What's your name? Yaya. This is Yaya. Yaya, guys, I'm a little mesmerized over here. She's mesmerized. All right, we're getting home. We made it. Thank you, God. Uh, the adventure is still yet to come, though. It's cute because I look in the mirror and Carl keeps putting his head out. I want to just show y'all that it will do it. I'm trying to look at the left and the right side mirrors. And I, I just don't know what to expect. Seriously, not only with Carl, but from the other babies. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. I do know one thing though. There's no way Carl's going to be able to stay in the front pasture. This fence is only about four foot high. And Carl could almost just step right over it. So access to this pond and stuff is probably not going to happen. So it's probably going to be that Carl ends up being a feathered big. Oh, look. <laughs> It looks like someone is waving a uh, a little duster. You know those little feather dusters? It looks like someone has a feather duster they're waving it around. Out of the trailer back there. Can y'all see that? Alright, so what's wrong, Megan? Um, yeah, I just rolled out of bed. Oh, Megan's not video worthy, she doesn't think. Ellie, what is your first reaction when you've got your first look at Carl? Tell me, honestly, what's going through your head right now as we stand here looking at Carl? 
Honestly, the first thing I just I just want to know is if he'll be lovable, if he'll be easy to like pet and stuff whenever. Okay, I so that. here's here's what I think. Recently, you made a video about phases or stages of something. It was like the tears. The tears. So I would I don't know yet how he's gonna be once we get him in the pasture. And right here, you can love on him and pet him and put your hands on him. And Megan, you should do this before we uh, let him out because once he's out, I don't know if he's gonna be as sweet as Pebbles. Or I don't know if he's going to be as distant as Annie. I have no idea. That's what I was worried about. I hope he's like Pebbles or like Lenny or something. But before we let him out, we got to have two things happen. We have to medicate his little wounds. It's, uh, it's hard to see because he's turned around to us. Now, also you have to understand the only other animals he's ever been around are pigs, chickens, and dogs. Well, and other. So cows, horses, are all, and goats are all going to be new to him. Um, so we'll have to see how he reacts to that. For anyone who's wondering, here's what I've done. I've backed the trailer up, and we're going to let him out into this pasture with Tex. Reason being, that's the only fence we have that's tall enough that he can't step over. <laughs> I don't mean... he's really tall? Yeah, we have a six-foot fence around this pasture, and he won't be able to jump or hop over that one. All right, so we're about to release Carl. Chip has come by to visit and say hi and introduce himself. If it wasn't bad enough, Sissy's over here on the other side. She just jumped down. Go ahead, Carl. Uh-oh. Oh, the chicken. Okay, come on, Ellie, hurry. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Carl. He is so tall. Carl's tall. Come on over, Ellie. Really tall. Mm -hmm. Carl. Oh, look at the horses. They're scared. <laughs> Actually, right, let's walk around with him, Ellie, a little bit. Come on, Jamie. Want to walk around? Look at Ringo staring at him. <laughs> Ringo is peeking out of the corner of the barn. Can you see that, Jamie? Yeah. Look at Ringo. He's freaking out. That's the biggest chicken he's ever seen. <laughs> all right, so as you all can see, this is the pasture that belongs to Tex. Uh, we chose to put him in here for now. What if Tex is scared of him? What if Tex is scared of him? Carl! Can't they run like 55 miles an hour? Oh, they're very fast. They can cover between 10 and 16 feet in a single stride. Ringo thinks he's met his match. Oh no, look at all the babies. They're all staring over here. They're all freaking out. They're scared of Carl. That's like the biggest turkey ever. Even Cornholio's not saying anything. Oh, now he is. Did y'all hear? Cornholio's like shriveled up over there like a little mouse. Well, it's terrifying. Everyone is just staring over here. <laughs> They're staring at Carl. They won't even come over and look. They're going to stand at a distance. Brady's like, what the heck is that? So look at this. Ernie and Cornholio and Annie are all kind of like lined up like paying attention and having no idea what's going on. <sighs> they Don't sure are. All right, there you go, Jamie. Our newest addition to the farm, Carl. Oh, Carl. You need this wire go in the trailer, or what is this one? <laughs> uh, we don't have an incubator big enough for that. That's no good. That's why oh, he gave it to me. God. I just wanted to show, have one to show you. He, uh, that's what the, he does, is uh, hatches eggs. Yeah. Well, Carl has... <laughs> Look, he's strutting. He's doing like his staying alive John Travolta walk. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, staying alive, staying alive. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He, look at him. He is strutting across there. Carl! All right, so what I'm doing is throwing some worms out to the feathered babies here in this pasture with that big feathered baby over there. What I'm hoping is that if he sees me taking care of these babies, then maybe he'll become a little bit more gentle towards us. That's what we want to do. We want him to see us as his, his human, his protector, if you will. Uh-oh, I think... I'm sorry, I'm moving. Come on, babies, come on. Hey, geese, little ducks. Come on, little geese. Come on, ducks and geese, come on.
Come on, buddy. Come on, Carl. Oh my goodness, he's getting closer. Come on, Carl. It's safe, buddy. Carl. So these are those mealworms. Come on, Carl. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, sheesh. Really? You don't eat mealworms. I'm gonna walk up a little bit closer and see if I can get Carl to eat a few of these. Come on, Carl. Carl. He's not gonna let me get close to him. Come on, Carl. Carl. No, nope, he is not going to let me get too close. Oh, he's such a majestic bird. Look at that. He has like a little strut. Come on, Carl. I have worms. I don't bet. I bet he's never had worms. Look, Carl. Come on. Carl. No, nope, he's not going to let me get close. All right, here we go, Carl, look. There's a whole bunch right down the ground. I'll walk away. I'll walk away and maybe he'll come back for him. There we go. Come on, Carl. You know who, whatever, every time I say Carl, you know who I think about? Is uh, from The Walking Dead. I think that Rick, Rick's son was named Carl. Remember? Carl! And the way Rick said Carl. Now, I know that I'm hick and country, but I'll tell you what, Rick, oh my goodness, really? You want some worms too? It's okay. Look at everyone watching me and Carl. If Carl is a smart bird, he'll learn that I'm a good guy. Animals can trust me. Look, Carl, the babies love me. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda getting scared. Come on, Carl. I got some worms, Carl. Look, see, the babies like worms. Carl! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Everyone looks at me and then they look at Carl. They look at me, they look at Carl. All right. We'll keep trying this. I'm gonna come out every day and feed the babies and uh, he'll hopefully with time realize that I'm not someone he needs to worry about. You're safe now, Carl. We're gonna take good care of you. I think you're gonna really like it here. Oh, and Carl, we love you. You're going to have a lot of people love you.